to look in detail at the at the injection pressures, what happened was initially they could inject wastewater without any pressure, which just basically go straight down the well. They didn't have to do it, put any pressure to make it go into the formation. But those pressures gradually rose um, over the 20 year period uh, until essentially they'd have to keep increasing the pressure at which they force the water down um, in order to continue uh, injecting the same volume of water. And so we think that was showing that essentially this formation which had been previously drilled and produced and now was being re-injected into was essentially filling up, that it was a closed space where they were pumping a lot of water down to and essentially got to the point where the formation was full and that caused increases in pore pressure, which may have led to these events along the, along the existing fault systems there. All right, but 